Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Wednesday, December 11th. Quiet day, consolidation, closed lower. We were down about a third of a percent in the S&P and the Dow futures. Yesterday's close was 18.03, down six in the S&P. The high was 18.11.5, the low was 18.01 to keep an eye on. Still away from those all-time highs. Never took them out, 18.12.5. Yesterday got within one point. Dow futures down 48, 15,978. NASDAQ lost two and a half at 35.16. Saw the dollar continue down below the 80 level. 79.96 was a close, down 17. First close down there below 80 since end of October. Euro currency, new spike here, 137.64, up another 24. 138.30 or so is the next level of resistance from a couple months back. Bond market had a bounce, up 30 ticks at 130.08. Interesting recovery after getting down to that 128 level here last Friday and a complete turnaround as that held us a support one more time. Crude oil up $1.16, $98.50, extending its gains. And gold, the big winner of the day, up $27 at $12.61, back above that $12.50 pivot point we talked about. So after a mixed day yesterday, where the market stand on this Wednesday morning for the middle of the week, right now we're steady. We're down one point in the E-mini S&P at 1802. We're down nine in the Dow futures, 15,969. And we're down four points in the NASDAQ as we stand right now at 3512 as the futures stand. Currency is quiet, 79.97 in the dollar. We're unchanged right now or so in the euro currency, actually up two ticks, 137.66. And right now, bonds are off 11 at 129.29 as that stands. Crude oil steady as well, down 10 cents at 98.40. 100 is a psychological resistance up above where we had this breakdown where it went all the way down below $92 in the last couple weeks. But we've had a healthy recovery and we're at the highest level in crude oil that we've seen in more than a month. And lastly, after the big rally yesterday, gold. Uh, it's a little bit lower, not selling off much, but down $2 at $12.59. Important to see if this short covering rally was for real, if it's going to follow through in the next few sessions. Watch $12.50 on a weekly basis. We keep talking about that in the gold market. So wrap up the current action two hours ago before the cash stock market opened. We're steady to lower, down one point in the E-mini S&P at 1802, down nine in the down futures, 15969 I will see you early Thursday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.